Hi, I'm Alvin Castro, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Napalm Automation Framework and the Aruba-supported AOS CX drivers for it. To get started, let's talk about what is Napalm. Don't worry, we aren't talking about the incendiary device. However, it could be a good way to get your network automation across different devices at a blazingly fast speed. Napalm is an acronym for Network Automation and Programmability Abstraction Layer with multi-vendor support. Whew, what a name. It is vendor neutral, cross-platform, and open source. So what does that mean? Uh, Napalm provides a unified way to interact with switches from Cisco, Arista, Juniper, and Aruba. Despite these having different operating systems, Napalm can run commands and receive the data in a uniform fashion. Next, let's talk about how Napalm is used. As an abstraction layer, Napalm functions as an ideal form of automation for multi-vendor environments. Instead of having to memorize and use all the different APIs and data models for automation, the Napalm drivers do that for you and are called with simple Python get functions. This allows for easy ways to integrate with other automation frameworks and tools seamlessly. In fact, there's already existing integrations with Ansible, Salt, and Stackstorm. Additionally, there are also different network application tools that make use of Napalm, such as Netbox and ENMS. The beauty of the Napalm automation framework is that it can be easily coded into custom dashboards and applications using Python. The requirements to install and use the latest version of Napalm is at least Python 3.6. And that's it. Please note that some of these base Napalm drivers may have some older library dependency issues for Windows devices. Uh, check out our documentation and the Napalm repos for more information and ways to get around it. Here at Aruba, we've developed the Napalm drivers for Aruba AOS CX switches. These should work with any Aruba AOS CX switch platform, but I don't recommend using it with an OVA since many of the functions are hardware dependent. The AOS CX drivers are community drivers. That means they aren't included in the base installation of Napalm and requires one extra small step, which I'll show later. When installing them, it will also install these library dependencies, including PyAOS CX, the Python-based software development kit for the AOS CX switches that we've developed. Anyone can install Napalm and the Aruba AOS CX drivers using the Python pip commands. This can be with pip3 or python3-m pip install commands. After the base Napalm install installation, then run the command to install the Napalm Aruba CX drivers. This can also be done on the same line if you, if you want it to. Note that if you're behind a proxy, you'll need to use an extra flag for the dash dash proxy in order to reach the distributions. The AOS CX Napalm drivers and the Pi AOS CX Python SDK use the REST API to interact with the switches. So please be sure to enable REST on the AOS CX drivers that you're connecting to. That means enabling REST access read, read write mode and specifying the VRF that your automation PC will connect to. Additionally, it is required to have a user with administrator access and a password. For more information about REST, check out our Aruvabots Automate REST API with Python videos and playlist. Now let's get started with installing the Napalm and Aruba AOS CX drivers. First, I'm going to create a virtual environment where I'll be running the rest of this Napalm demo on. Now that I have the virtual environment set up, I'm going to use pip to install Napalm, the AOS CX drivers, as well as PyOS CX. Note that I'm using the proxy command since this Ubuntu machine is behind a firewall. You could also run these commands separately. After I've completed the base installation, let's see Napalm Animation in action. I'm going to run a Python idle interpreter 
so that I can type out the changes on the fly. First, I'm going to import Napalm into this environment. Additionally, I'll import a couple more optional libraries just for readability's sake. I'll also create variables for my username and password, so I won't have to keep retyping them. To call the Napalm drivers, I'll be calling the Napalm get network driver method and storing it as a variable. Note that in this case, I'm specifying the type of Napalm driver to be AOSCX. Next, I'm going to run a couple of Napalm methods using that driver with the switch's IP address, the login name, and password that I specified earlier. This is also where I use JSON, dumps, and sort keys to make it slightly more readable. First, it's going to run the getFacts method to get some system information, as well as the getLDPNeighbors method just to see what other connections are attached to the switch. And just like that, we're able to quickly retrieve all of this information from this CX switch. Since it's in a JSON structure, this allows us to selectively gather key value pairs from the information to get what we need. We can see this first section is from the getFacts, and the second section is from the getLDPNeighbors. Now, let's run this again, except we'll be creating another driver that uses Arista's EOS. I'll be using the exact same methods, but just pointing it to a different IP address uh, of my Arista switch. And as we can see, we are given the, inf the same information um, structure, but it's the information of the Arista switch in that similar format, where the first top section is for the get facts, and the bottom section are the get LLDP neighbors. This is precisely how Napalm can be used as an abstraction layer for custom tools and dashboards. Your tool can simply run a unified method across several multi-vendor switches and make use of the expected data structure. In future videos, we can show you how applications such as NetBox and ENMS work in that fashion. For more information about the Aruba AOS CX Napalm drivers, you can look at the PyPy distribution page or the readme.md that is found as part of the code in the repo. This lists the current supported functions, which we will continue to develop and add going forward. The repo is also where you can file any issues or discuss any enhancements. Additionally, if you need help getting started with Napalm or other Aruba automation, check out our developer hub. The Napalm section has information to help you get started with Napalm and has sections regarding integrations with Ansible, Stackstorm, and more. Thanks for watching.